Outfit. Uh, Why don't you have an outfit, George? Uh, I do have one. Just look. Oh, George, you spent two weeks in preparations and all you've made is this funny funnel? It's not a funny funnel. This is a fancy party funnel with a surprise. A fancy? What's the surprise? You just wait and see. <laughs> Happy New Year, guys. <laughs> My fancy party funnel is sensitive to the New Year greetings, Ethan. Happy New Year! The moment these words are spoken, Ethan, the lights come on and then the New Year jingle is played. Isn't that cool? Happy New Year, Ethan. Happy New Year, George. Happy New Year, Ethan. Happy New Year, George. <laughs> oh. Happy New Year, Ethan. Happy New Year, George. <laughs> mm. Happy New Year, Ethan. Enough. You've greeted us already. Yeah, and so what? Huh, can't we just do it again? Happy New Year! Oh. <coughs> oh, stop saying Happy New Year all the time! Whoa. Uh huh? Huh? Oh. And now it's time for the best part of our New Year's party! Mm. Come on! Come on. I'm sorry. There will be no lights this year. Oh. No, there will be lights. Instead of come on the lights, we should all say aloud, Happy New Year! and watch the new episodes. One, two, three, four, five. Ouch! Uh, Stop it right now. <laughs> we are going to gather a team together. A soccer team. Oh. Wow, I want to be on the team. So do I. Well, theoretically, I really want to be on the soccer team as well. Well, I'm sure you can imagine that only the best trains will be in my team, George. Which means only those who are like me. Fantastic. Do you uh. think you're like me? Yeah, yeah. I also like speed. Ha <laughs> ha. Yoo-hoo. I'm fast as well. It's just that I'm... Well, I'm not as fast as you are, Sam Sparky. Okay. Yay! You Yay! are on the team. Yes, all right. 
Arnold? My wheels look just like yours. But the most important thing is that I am brave. Not as brave as you are, my friend. Okay. You are on the team as well. Uh, uh. Hmm, and you? Why do you think you are like me? Oh. Sam Sparky, you know I am not like you. But science doesn't deny that I may be like you. I promise not to let you down. No can do. I won't take you. I don't need trains who aren't like me. <laughs> oh, now, come on, George. They are only a few silly mm -hmm. little trains. They have the same brains as a boxcar does. You're way smarter. Well, I... I wanted to be on the team as well. <laughs> we'll gather our own team and we'll kick their wheels. What do you say, George? Come on, that's right. What, so now everyone must be like you, Ethan? Oh no, just the opposite. No similarity. We need differences in our team. How different from me are you, huh? Everything. I am bigger than you, slower than you, I go to bed earlier, and I don't like books about pirates. I'm totally different from everyone. I study differently, I say intelligent words which no one understands mostly, and well, as for soccer, I play differently. So it proves that you should be in our team for sure, George. Great, mm -hmm. wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> That's really great, and I'll be the referee. Oh. <laughs> Arnold can't reach the ball because he is really fat. Fantastic will lead the ball, but he will make a mistake. Ethan and Anthony will take the ball from him and will start an attack. Sam Sparky will try to intervene and he will kick the ball over here. So according to the calculations that I made here, if I stay right over here, I will surely score a goal. Quick, Come on. quick! Hurry, give me the Come ball! On, guys. I want to get it! Here. Come on, get it! Uh, oh. Goal! Goal? Hooray! Hooray. Yeah! Yeah! Oh. One minute is left till the game is over. Hey. Come on, come on, do it! Give me the ball! Go, kick it! Yeah, oh. go, go! Come on, guys! We just lost. That's it. Hooray! Hooray! We, won! we won! We won! What were you doing? What you told me? You said that. Hey, cheer up, guys. You know, it was just a game. But remember, being different is much, much better than being similar. That's, That's right! right. <laughs> It's raining, and I'm alone again. My mom's at work, as always, and nobody calls me. Oh, life is such a bad thing. <gasps> Hello, Mrs. Dove. Well, hi there, Vera. Why are you so blue today? Oh, well. I'm just unlucky in life. My mom told me to buy some engine oil. Mrs. Dove, may I please get half a tank? Don't be sad. Life is like a railroad at times. It may be flat, it may be downhill, and there are sharp turns sometimes, to be sure, my dear. I have something for you, though. Just wait. <laughs> are so beautiful. Vera, why beautiful? The wilted flowers? Hi there. Hello, Vera. Oh, guys, life is so beautiful. You really think so? To me, it looks like it's gonna rain soon. And we were missing a third player. We were going to play soccer. Yeah, with Sam Spark and his team. They have three people and we only have two. <laughs> I don't like to lose at soccer. 
Hooray! Soccer! This is so awesome! Farah, what is happening to you? You never enjoyed soccer before. You're behaving very strangely today. That's because Vera is looking at the world through pink glasses. That means she sees only the good side in everything. Yes, I feel so good. Are those magic glasses? Vera, can I try them on? Of oh. course. We gotta go. Wait up, guys. I didn't warn them, but no worries. I know they are going to come back. <laughs> what have I done? I was supposed to buy engine oil for my mom. And you bought glasses instead? Yes. Everything's gonna be okay. Now we are gonna win Sam Sparky's team. Then we'll come back to the shop to return the glasses and buy engine oil. Enjoy life, follow me. Come on, guys. What's wrong, Ethan? Why are you so distracted? Did I miss the ball, Anthony? Of course you did. Maybe you should take off the glasses. <laughs> Tell me, was that good? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Dove, we really need the pink glasses again, so the world can become better. I don't have pink glasses. I only have these black shades. They're very cool. Do you want to try them on? Everything looks bad with these glasses. Yes, but we lost because of the pink glasses. And I let my mom down because of them. Don't cry, Vera. We can take some oil. Well, for my mother. And next time, we are definitely gonna win. Look, guys, glasses have nothing to do with all of that, I assure you. They just protect you from the sun. Life is like a railroad. What's most important is to look ahead and move on. Life is beautiful anyway. Oh, look at that. This tree is probably sick, guys. But George, how can you know that the tree is sick? It isn't coughing. And it has no fever either. Trees don't cough, but a midsummer leaf dropping indicates that the tree is not well at all. This is the oldest tree in the train city. It is older than Grandpa Billy himself. Guys, we have to save it. Now let's go to the young gardener store. <sighs> oh. oh, something is going on here for sure. Hey, kids, where are you going, all of you? Hey, do you know the tree that is older than Grandpa Billy? Grandpa Billy? Yes, sure. What's wrong with him? Well, he's drying up. Oh, that's terrible. Grandpa Billy is drying up. Ah! <laughs> oh, Mrs. Dove, when was the last time you checked your brakes? What brakes, indeed? Haven't you heard? Grandpa Billy is drying he's up. He's drying up? All of him? I'm not sure if it's the whole body or half, but it's truly contagious. We need to isolate him before he infects everybody. Right. You run to Grandpa Billy and don't let him out of the house, and I will alarm the citizens immediately. Who's there? Nobody. You are dreaming. Sleep tight now. What do you mean I'm dreaming, huh? Sleep tight, you say? I'm coming out there! Oh no, coming out of bed is a bad, bad idea. The weather is nasty today. Why can't I open the door? Uh, because I'm holding it. Don't panic. We will take you to the hospital soon, Grandpa Billy. That's it. We will visit the tree every day until it is well again. Let's go and ask Grandpa Billy to give us some flowers to plant here around the tree. <laughs> 
kids, run away! Grandpa Billy is out! Huh? Have you seen Mrs. Dove, any of you? Oh, great. You know, you kids are doing well, very well. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa Billy. Could you please hmm. give us some flowers to plant around the tree? I love the idea. Wait here. I'll bring you flowers as soon as I can. Grandpa Billy, wait. We'll help you. Mr. Police Puff is asking you why you are not at school. What on earth are you talking about? I'm asking, have you seen an infected patient around? Why on earth are you covered with engine grease? Oh, because grease protects from infection. Hey, Vera, Wendy, just look at the flowers Grandpa Billy gave us. Grandpa Billy, now don't fight back. Well, let's spread protective grease all over you, and you'll be just fine. I'm perfectly fine without any grease at all, you know. And tell me, dear Mrs. Dove, please explain. Why did you lock me inside my own house when you came by before, huh? Can you tell me that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a hilarious story. It was all my mistake. Yes. <laughs> we are sorry, Grandpa Billy. Ah, uh, never mind. We all make mistakes, you know. Mm -hmm. But look, the kids are doing a mm -hmm. great job over <laughs> there, huh? Isn't that sweet, huh? Look. Hey friends, press the subscribe and watch the new episodes. Good afternoon, Mr. Clockface. Do you know what time it is now? Of course I know the time, because my clock is very old and accurate as well. And now it's exactly midday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Clockface is a very old clock. I guess it's very rare. Hmm? Where's Mr. Clockface? It must be an abduction. An abduction? You remember what Mr. Clockface told us about the old clock? So it was abducted with Mr. Clockface. We must find him. Let's start the investigation. Okay, let's conduct an interrogation. We need to know who was where last night. Well, I don't know anything, and I didn't see anybody. What do you have in the garage? The garage? There is nothing in there. <laughs> I've always dreamed about having my own trolley, but my parents didn't let me. So I thought if I just show them to my parents, they will let me keep at least one of them. Well, guys, I don't think that it's him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait a minute. I remember that yesterday night, musician was laughing wickedly. <laughs> <laughs> hey there! <laughs> it wasn't me! I gave everything back! Why did you do it in the first place? Well, all I wanted to do was to learn the melody, but they simply wouldn't give it to me. What didn't they give you? The music book, obviously. I mean, you are asking about the music book, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, the one with the melody in it that I wanted to learn, but they wouldn't let me take it home, but I took it home anyway. Someone kidnapped Mr. Clockface. <sighs> so now I know why Mrs. Dove was carrying that large sack the other night. How could you think that about me, guys? Well, you did have something in the sack. Oh, there are a lot of balloons. A lot of them, you see. So I had to put them in the sack so they wouldn't fly away. Ah, uh, there's nothing harder in the world than unloading loads of balloons, seriously. I'm telling you guys, ask the policeman for yourself. The main rule of an investigation is to suspect someone who is not under suspicion. Tell us now. Did you take Mr. Clockface? Tell us, why did you do that? 
Why, to restore the old clock to work better. Mr. Clockface was being restored. He was? <laughs> Can you imagine that, kids? The clock was running one second behind, so I had to recalibrate it. The abduction may be considered as being solved. And restored as well. <laughs> My blue eyes find everything that's stylish and blue is never out of fashion. I'm happy to say, oh yay. Good morning, Mom. Why are you so happy today? I'm on holiday today. Today is Women's Day. Really? And what do people do on this day? Nothing special, dear. You just need to make all women feel happy everywhere and fulfill all their desires and their wishes. What do you wish for? I want all our friends to gather in our house. That would be so lovely, don't you think? <laughs> well, that's a really simple thing to do. <laughs> don't cry, Vera, dear. I'll be back soon. You know what kind of a job I have, no? But today is a holiday. <gasps> I'd rather never have to work and be with you all the time. <laughs> you know this is an impossible dream. Yes, hello. Vera's mother doesn't want to go to work with you. Really? Is that the reason she doesn't want to come? You know, she wants to stay home and never work ever again. Great. Tell her her dream came true. She's fired. <laughs> it's so nice to fulfill wishes. It's great. I'm like a wizard. Since my mother left, I'll try to entertain myself. So, let's see. What's fashionable right now? Hey, Vera, tell me what you really want. I want to be the most stylish train. But it seems so hard. Fashion changes all the time. It seems impossible. Mm, Blue is never out of fashion, I'm happy to say. Oh, yay. If Blue is never out of fashion, then let Vera be Blue and the most stylish train of all. Hmm. Oh, I want to lose some weight. Well, you're gonna need to run a lot more if you want to lose some weight. Hey, come over here for a second. <laughs> we'll be glad to see you again. Huh? Hmm. <gasps> oh my god! Where is the cash box? Hey, stop there! <laughs> George home? Oh, hi, Ethan. George isn't here. He and his dad left in the morning. Listen, I have a lot of things to do. I need to clean the house, and I also have to bake a pie. And today is a holiday, and I don't have enough wheels to do everything. We need to help George's mother. Let's cook the pie first. Now let's start cleaning. Oh, good. So the cleaning is done, too. Fire! Oh! Now George's mom has a lot of free time. Mom, I forgot about your wish. I'm sorry, Mom. No, you actually fulfilled it. Go inside and have a look. Hey, <laughs> they came by themselves because well, well, well. yes. I fulfilled all their wishes. Say what wishes? You did such a lot of damage. Ethan, how could you do that to me? It was very hard for me to and fix. And I thought you were my friend. But I don't understand. I just did what you wanted. I just fulfilled all your wishes. Well, that's outrageous. What oh, a lot Ethan. of nonsense, I'm Ethan. afraid that women never say what they really want, my boy. I don't understand that. So what do women really want? Well, you have your whole life to understand that. You know, I left my work earlier today, and since we're all here, let's celebrate Women's Day together. What do you say? Happy oh, Women's lovely. Day. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> yes. This is really nice. <laughs> oh, thank Happy you. holiday. Blue really is fashionable, Ethan. I'll stay blue for a little while. <laughs> oh, what wonderful music. I think it's the passionate. What did you say? The why what NATO? It's coming from the musician's house over there. Oh, big deal. I could play better than that for sure. To play like that, one has to study hard. Or maybe you think you're a genius. <laughs> oh, yeah, and who says I'm not? 
Come tomorrow evening and see for yourselves. I'll show you then. Hmm. I have to admit that I'm feeling very awkward with this adornment, my dear. <laughs> oh, don't take offense. It makes you look like a knight with a feather. Oh, you could have broken the instrument. To play the piano properly, you need to learn for a long time. Hey, I will learn. Just give me a minute or two. So how about this then? What do you think? Did you like what I just played for you or not? Can you play something military for me? Boom, boom, param, pa pam. Boom, boom, param, pam, pam. Just a minute. Yes, that one. Param, param, pam. Huh? Something's happened to our Sam Sparky. What happened? Is it a fire? Huh? Listen, everybody, it's so exciting. We have a young genius in Train City, and his name is Sam Sparky. I think something is wrong here. <gasps> Sam Sparky invited us to convince us all that he's a genius. So we all came. You may come in now. Please, follow me, everyone. <gasps> Whoa. Maestro Sam Sparky is practicing. He asked not to disturb him today. But you may quietly peep inside if you want to. <gasps> Are you convinced now? I really don't get it, guys. When will the performance begin already? Did you put away that bunch of flowers? I can't huh? see anything at all. Huh. Hm. Oh, dear, no. Uh, uh, oh, I'm allergic to flowers. Uh, <gasps> Quiet! Silence! Stop sneezing! Don't disturb me listening to this whiz kid play. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is outrageous. Honestly, you should clean your nose at home. over there. His piano is playing all by itself. All I wanted to do was become a good pianist. But this whole learning thing was so hard and... You wanted to become a star without any effort at all? Remember, kid, to achieve something you must study hard and practice for many days and many, many nights. Press the subscribe and watch the new episodes.